Lewis. I'm originally from St. Peter's in St. Kitts. My mother is from Nevis. My father is from St. Peter's here in St. Kitts. I have a wife and four daughters. I grew up playing for St. Peter's Football Club, attended the Dean Glassford Primary School. Later on, moved on to Bastia Junior High School and Bastia High School. After that, I chose to bypass college and turn become a professional footballer. I became the first Kittishan and Division to sign a professional contract in Spain, and then later on became the first, also became the first Kittishan and Division to play Major League Soccer. And I've had over 18 years of professional playing career, also playing for the national team ever since I was 15 years old, the senior team. But I was in the national youth program from a very young age, at age 11, when I played for the national under 13 team. My football journey started here in St. Peter's, right on this ground. Um, I'm honored that the ground has been renamed after, after me. That's um, thanks to the, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis and also the sporting fraternity for seeing this as an um, opportunity to, to rename the, this facility in my honor and I'm thankful for that. Over the years, football has taught me a lot. I've, I've, I was, I'm fortunate enough to, to travel to many different countries and meet a lot of, new, meet a lot of people, different culture and it helped me to develop as a person, as a man and just, just overall develop composure and family, you know, that family spirit and being careful, um, being there for each and every person that I've come across. Home is home and it's always good to come back home and give back. You notice over the years a lot of people might be migrating, looking for better opportunity. But my, my intention was always to, to seek a professional, professional um, career and I was able to accomplish that. So now after, after playing for almost two decades as a professional player, I'm choosing to come back home and help to serve and give back to our football. We're in a pandemic and, and the clubs, most of the clubs have been crying out for, for improvement and the development of football in our country is dear to me. And I think one of the things that we can do, or we intend to do, is to res reset football. And by, by doing that, we'll increase, we'll increase grants and everything for every club to have the ability to, to implement all the necessary programs so that way we can, we can truly move football forward in St. Kitts and Nevis. Raising the standards speak for itself. I think we have the ability, we have the personnel here to raise the standard. I think over the years we've been sidelining many of our, our footballing people and I mean you've seen it, so no need to elaborate on that. And I think we need to, we need to incorporate everybody from the past, from the past to come back here in order to, for us to have a proper future. I think many of us, in order to develop a strong football and culture, we need, we need our legends to be back in this game. I think, I mean, growing up, I was always the captain for, for every, every team that I've played for. The people in St. Peter see me as a leader. And obviously, I mean, by giving me the captain arm and the national team for the national team, etc., I think I would think that the people in charge currently seen me, saw me as a leader as well. So I think coming back here and giving back, giving back to our community with only helping food, with the reach that I have, the connection that I've made over the years throughout my playing career, can only serve the people of St. Kitts and Nevis and the football um, fraternity better. I think you gotta, you gotta see guidance and that's what my team and I are here for. I think over the years I've been, I've been able to to get guidance from a lot of my elders and I think the young people should to seek that as well. Continue to train hard, continue to stay focused, continue, continue to, to, to stay motivated and never give up on your dream because you never know, you never know who might be watching. So continue training, stay focused, stay well educated and keep on learning. In, in life I think I've always started behind the curve, the curveball, um, had many doubters Many people didn't think I was going to become a professional footballer and I mean, it speaks for itself. So, so right now, we might have doubters, you might have people supporting, I'm staying focused and the team, the team that we've, we've put together, we're positive and confident that this, this team would help 
athlete, Sinkit Zaniv, is football forward with the support of many others because I think we truly deserve to have football people leading our football. I mean, first we have to see we have to see what's going on inside currently. We have to analyze, analyze the books, analyze the current situation because if you know if you notice, we don't have many programs in place right now in terms of technical programs and we need to, that's one of the things we need to start looking at and get it going and also get in the clubs that financial support to, to help stabilize things and get things moving forward. Hence why we're going to reset football and have give all the clubs an equal, equal share the price so they can have enough time in the first year to, to help raise the standard. I, I like to go into everything, everything um, positive and confident that I'll be elected and I'm not, I'm not thinking about the next move. I'm just thinking I'm truly focused on enhancing Sinkits and Nevis football and help moving it forward.